Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a Lamborghini Huracan that has been fitted with two turbochargers. So it's completely bonkers. Puts out 1,100 horsepower. And so I need something equally as bonkers to race it again. So that's why next to me is a Kawasaki H2R. It's a supercharged racing bike. It's nuts, it's got loads of force power. Not as much as this, but loads for a bike. Now we'll find out about that in a moment because I'm gonna tell you about this car first. A Huracan normally has a 5.2 litre V10 engine that's naturally aspirated, but this one doesn't because it's got those two big snails on the back, which increase the power to 1,100. And it's also got 1,000 newton meters of torque. We've got four wheel drive, seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, and it's a bit of a brutal machine. Now you've still got the similar kind of weight as a normal Huracan, which is popping up on the screen now. Now, if you do want to get one built, first of all, you're going to buy a Huracan and you can get one of this age for about £130,000. Then you can pay Gem Imports £40,000 for the entry level turbocharger kit. You've got the turbochargers, you've got a titanium exhaust, you've got a new ECU and you've got a charge cooler. Nothing is done to the gearbox or the engine internals. Quite simple, reasonably priced and it gives you insane performance as you're about to find out. But to find out about the bike, I'm going to have to hand you over to someone who actually knows about bikes. I don't. It's Chris Northover from Bike World TV. Hey, Chris, how you doing, mate? Hey, dude, how's it going? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm rather I'm sat in this seat, not having to wear a load of dead animal than being sat on that crazy machine, which I need you to tell me all about. Yeah, it's a, a pretty special one as bikes go. This this is Kawasaki's H2R, so it's a 310 horsepower, 214 kilo bike, makes 165 newton meters of torque. And they were around 60 grand when Kawasaki bought them out as a, a production machine, four cylinder, 1000 cc. Yeah, it's wild, even by bike standards. When people talk about acceleration, what really matters is your power to weight ratio. So what I'm gonna do is flash up the power to weight ratio of the car. And now we need the power to weight ratio of the bike. But I'm gonna include you, cause you're, how heavy, Chris? So fully kitted up in my leathers, I'm pretty much bang on 80 kilos. Okay, so now we have the power to weight ratios of the two vehicles combined. But what will that mean when we race them? Well, we're gonna find out in a moment, but before we do that, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Also, please follow me on Instagram, at Matt Watson Cars. Let's do this. Now, Chris, normally in a car where I drag race, what we'll do before we race is to rev up our engine. So I'm gonna go first, have a listen to this. So my V10, all 5.2 litres of it, red lines at eight and a half thousand RPM. Let's see your bike. What does yours rev line at? Red line's at 14,000 RPM. You know, it's got a noisy exhaust on it, but what I really heard was the induction sound from that supercharger. Do it again. <laughs> I could just hear it like, just like sucking air, it's crazy, isn't it? When you look under the front end of this bike, where the headlights of a bike should be, there's just one massive air intake with a panel filter behind it. It's an insane bit of kit. Well, I'm glad you're on it and I'm not on it because it just looks scary. Anyway, let's do this race. I've no idea what's going to happen. It's going to be whether you can put your power down and keep your front wheel on the ground, really. Absolutely. I've never been scared on a straight line race on a bike until I got on this one. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find out what happens. Hopefully he won't die. If he does, it's his own fault. No, I think you're in reverse. I was so in reverse then. <laughs> I hate this system in the blooming Lamborghinis, the silly gear selector. It's nonsense. See your bike. <laughs> He's not catching me. He's just wheeling. Okay, so I've got four wheel drive and quite a lot of weight. <laughs> and probably some downforce maybe even. You just couldn't do anything there. I don't know why I'm talking to him, he hasn't got a radio. <laughs> How was that for you? Just went straight up. I, I noticed, I could just see it, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, this, ah, I'm losing, I'm lost, I've lost. The whole way, yeah. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a chance. You can go before me and I'll try and catch you. Come on, Lambo. Come 
gotta catch him, come on, he's still kicking his wheel up. No, not now, he's gone. You did better then, I wish we'd just race normally because it would have been closer. Yeah. Should we try one yeah. again, see if we can get a good start from both of us. Let's do it. It does, doesn't it? So the thing with yours is that that little bit when you're lifting your wheel up, I've come past you and that's it. When I raced and you had a head start and you were ahead, you were just edging ahead and I was starting to reel it back in. It's all about just trying to keep the nose down on that. What you need is to be sat at the very front of the bike. Big bag of cement right there. That's it, that would do it. And then you might be in with a chance. Oh well, that's the way it is. Cars are better than bikes, it's a fact. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Lamborghini won, completing the standing quarter mile in 9.4 seconds. Meanwhile, the Kawasaki took 9.9 .9 seconds. Because Chris's bike is struggling off the line, what we're gonna do is roll on in first gear. When we reach the line, we're gonna accelerate and see what happens. There we go. Where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line? Where's the line now? Oh wow, look at that go past, that is just so insanely quick. That was brilliant. It is, <laughs> is driving into the next county. Sorry, that should be riding. A few moments later. I, I tell you what, I thought I was going to have you. I really did. And then when that thing hooked up, was it about like 80 or 90 miles an hour? <laughs> Even with the rolling start, it still just wants to go up. Until I'm in third and fourth gear, I can finally use full throttle. Really? And then it just... Just goes. goes. Right, now we're going to have a rolling race in third gear from about 65 miles an hour. I'm going to have to count it in. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, this is close. It's going now. Bloody hell. It's absolutely smashing the s out of me. Yeah, he's done, mate. Once you go up to speed, he wasn't increasing his lead, but there's this point at around 120, 150 that he's just booting ahead. Nuts. I think you won that. Oh, it's fast. It's, it's so fast. It takes off pretty level with me, and then it just starts to just boot past, and then it settles into like an even race, just like the cars aren't really gaining. A little bit of mid-range maybe, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, it's just going, isn't it, that? Yeah. Wow, what a thing. So, we know how good that is at going. Let's see how good it is at stopping. Right, brake test for an emergency stop from 100 miles an hour. Why is he putting wheelies at 80 miles an hour? That's, that thing is just crazy. Oh, what shall I do with this? Here comes the line. I love that! I love the fact that I won and I loved how that looked. Not going light in there. That, no, I thought it was really, really even. For a long time I could see your back wheel just skipping off the ground as you're like trying to control it. And then you just showed off at the end, didn't you? <laughs> just a little bit, you showed off. Try not to lose by too much. <laughs> awesome. That was great fun. That bike's amazing. This car's amazing. And you've clearly got some very big balls. I don't know how you fit them in your leathers. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>